Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Sunday, coming at you with 2021 Leaf Autograph Mini Football Helmets. Eight box, random team break number six. One spot gets you two random teams each. So let's uh, double up, uh, uh. Your spots, like Sir Mix-a-Lot. There's all the teams right there. Nice, and the Raiders got the Chargers to punt it away. Still a close game here. Let's roll it, randomize it. Five and a three, eight times. For names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Seven and eighth and final time. Five and a three. Eight times. Eight times. There we go. We got a couple Karens down to an Adam, an AK. Five and a three, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we got the Patriots, the Pat Riots, down to the Bengals. That's that's Karen Seal's team, the Pat. The Pat. There you go, Karen. Good to see you. All right, Karen with the Patriots and my Raiders are up 2014, 20 to 14 on the uh, Chargers in the middle of the third quarter. Tim with the Saints, Chad with the Niners, Nick with the Bills, Tom with the Buccaneers, Adam with the Colts, Greg with the Browns, Nick with the Chiefs, Tom with the Giants, Justin with the Seahawks, Greg with the Bears, Adam with the Washington Football Team, Tom with the Lions, Kevin with the Cardinals, Nick with the Nick F with the Panthers, Nick T with the Dolphins, Broncos and Steelers, Raymond with the Jags, Nick F with the Texans and Ravens, Chad. With the Rams, Adam with his Jets, Raymond with the Eagles, Greg with the Chargers, Tom with the Vikings, Justin with the Titans, Kevin with the Packers, Tim with the Falcons, Greg with the Cowboys, and Adam with the Cincinnati Bengals. So let's sort by column B, alphabetically by team. And we're going to pause the video. We're going to allow for some trading time. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we will have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There were no deals done, no trade chatter even, so that list remains the same. Appreciate it. All right, and we got the case. You can see on my face cam right here, you can see the case right over here. So let's pop this open. See all eight boxes right over here. Let's grab the first one here. Let's see what we got. play a, a little bit of America's Favorite Game, Who Am I?, where I give you some clues, and you try to guess who the uh, who the player is. Or, and uh, as the case may be, this football executive. This uh, Who am I? I am an American a former football executive who was the vice president of player personnel in the NFL for this team from 1960 to 1988. He also worked with the Rams and the Niners two-time Super Bowl champion and a pro football Hall of Famer. And then I think he did some did some, anal, some NFL.com analyst work, some serious XM NFL radio, a commentator on the show Late Hits, The End Zone, serious XM NFL tailgate show, et cetera, et cetera. And he got into the Hall of Fame in 2019. We've had this we've had this person before actually. Not Levy, yeah, Oliver's got it. It's Gil Brandt. 
And his cow cowboy's helmet right here. There's his autograph hiding right back there. The Beckett card, the corresponding sticker back there. Gilbrandt. That'll be four for Greg. All right, there you go, Greg. Next box. quarterback who am I active quarterback um, cur current stats 10,273 passing yards 52 TDs to 50 interceptions 613 rushing yards 10 rushing touchdowns um, play for two teams my entire career from USC And a top five pick. And I think I played today. Oh, nice. Good job, Marcus Mariota. Let's see how I did today. Uh, all right. I threw for, threw for 219 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception today in a 41-17 to loss to the Buccaneers. Yeah, Kevin, Oliver, Logan's got it. Sam Darnold. I'm not sure where, where he's going now in his career. I don't know what his contract is. Carolina going to keep him around for another season? Does he, does he go somewhere else to see ghosts, right, Danny? Yeah, I'm not, not, not sure where he ends up or what he's going to do or... But. I'm rooting for him. It'd be good for the hobby if he does well. That goes to Nick F. and the Carolina Panthers. It would be good for Adam's collection of Sam Darnold's. I feel like he's kind of running out of time, though, but maybe he's a late bloomer. All right. Next player. Hall of Fame wide receiver. Once stood playing days, 6'3", 208. Uh, was part of a... Was a supplemental draft pick, I, mean, I guess in between round four or something like that. But ended up being a Hall of Famer. Career stats, 1,101 receptions. 13,899 receiving yards. 130 receiving touchdowns. Uh, he once told a group of young players... To, uh, to have a fall guy. You need a fall guy in your crew. Which he's not wrong. 
All he does is catch a touchdown, too. There you go. Oliver and Jarrett got it. Chris Carter, great player. Uh, he wasn't wrong, but I feel like there was maybe a more subtle way to say it. Nice Chris Carter, though. It's pretty amazing. I like that, that sort of glossy purple on that helmet, too. There's the Beckett sticker back there. So that goes to Tom and the Minnesota Vikings. There you go, Tom. Danny's not a fan of Chris Carter. He can't have a conversation without telling you to the Hall of Fame. You have a lot of interactions with Chris Carter? Or are you just saying his public persona? To be fair, if I was in the Hall of Fame, I probably would mention it all the time too. All right, who am I? I am an active quarterback in the National Football League. Um, first round pick. Currently, my stats, 69 touchdowns, 34 interceptions, 11,240 passing yards, uh, 1,751 rushing yards currently, and 20 rushing touchdowns. I did play today. How did, how did, I, how did I do today? I don't think I did very well today, but overall I'm pretty good. This is his college helmet too. Um, he had 240 yards and one touchdown today. This team's been kind of struggling a little bit down the stretch, but they're in the playoffs. So we'll see what this player can do. Yep, Kevin M's got it. Kyler Murray. And this is Kyler's college helmet. There's the Beckett sticker right there. There's his autograph. He's got some good penmanship. Pretty exciting player to watch. And that is for Kevin M. There you go, Kevin. Kevin with the Cardinals. Yeah, NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year, two-time Pro Bowler, Heisman Trophy Award winner. It's pretty good. It's a nice helmet, Kevin. There you go. You're welcome, man. Thanks for getting in. Appreciate that. All right. Halfway through this full case break. And this, I don't see any more. Do we have more mini helmets? Those aren't mini helmets. I'm just looking on top of my cabinets here. Um, we don't have any more. But I appreciate everybody working through all the cases that we had. I'm sure we'll get some more live memorabilia stuff like this. Yeah, this this case did feel like that other case, right? The one difference I think was, was Chris Carter maybe? All right, let's see what we have here. Did we have this guy in that case too? Because there's only so many helmets that they have made of these. All right, I am a retired defensive End? Yeah, outside linebacker, defensive end, playing days, 6'5", 255 pounds. I'm 58 years old right now. I have 500 tackles in my career, 100.5 sacks, two interceptions, 26 force fumbles, five-time Pro Bowler, five-time Super Bowl champion. Played for two teams my entire career. The team that drafted me, played with them from 86 to 91, then the next team from 92 to 96, and then my last year was with the team that drafted me. Touchdown Raiders, yes. 
Not LT. I don't think I don't think LT or Youngblood had five had five Super Bowl champions between eighty six and ninety nine. Adam's got it. There you go. I was uh, Charles Haley, and this is Dallas edition of Charles Haley. There's his autograph right there. There's Charles Haley, Dallas. That'll be for Gregory, another cowboy. Active player. Twenty-two year old wide receiver, six four, two fifteen. I didn't realize he was six four. It's pretty good. played for one team my entire career. Currently, in my young career, I have one hundred and thirty-eight receptions for one thousand nine hundred and thirty-seven receiving yards and twelve receiving touchdowns. I was a college football national champion. And a first team all at ACC. This year, I uh, I finished the season with 71 receptions and 1,029 uh, receiving yards and six touchdowns. It's a pretty pretty solid solid year, I think. I think having a uh, having another great rookie wide receiver on the other side of me has definitely helped open up some space for me. I was drafted in 2020, second round, 33rd pick overall. Not Chase, Kevin, but but close. You're getting warmer. Justin Clements got it. T. Higgins. There's his autograph right there. The Beckett card inside. Nice. That's Adam Kupperman and the Bengals. Yeah, that's going to be a dangerous team. If the Raiders hang on, if the Raiders can hang on and win this game, you know who they're facing these guys. Which, the Bengals, which I think is going to be a tough, uh, tough matchup. All right. Next box. All right, who am I? 5'9", 212-pound running back from Miami. I've had a long career. Was drafted in 2005 in the third round. I have a flat 6, uh, 16,000 rushing yards, 
4.3 yards per carry, 81 rushing touchdowns, 484 receptions, 3,985 receiving yards, 18 receiving touchdowns, and one fumble returned for a touchdown. Yeah, we've seen this guy before. Frank Gore. Now, Oliver, Kevin, Justin, Adam, Jared, they, they, they all said Frank Gore pretty much around the same time. Well, Decon's called Joe Montana. You got the team, but just a different player, a different kind of back, a running back. I guess a halfback, not a quarterback. Niners, that's going to be for Chad Tucker. Interception. Nice. Good job, Raiders. There you go, Chad with the Niners. And the final mini helmet. Good luck, everybody. I know my Raiders will get smoked by the, by the uh, Bengals next week, but but uh, man, I've not seen my Raiders in the playoffs since like 2016, and even then, Derek Carr was injured that year, and so they were rolling with a backup quarterback in Houston, I want to say. So, all right. All right, who am I? Another retired player. A former American football defensive end who played my entire career with this one team. Stood at 6'2", 260. Defensive end, 6'2", 260. Uh, from Trenton, New Jersey. Went to North Carolina A&T. Drafted in 1968 in the third round. Eight-time Pro Bowler. 691 tackles, 105 sacks, one touchdown. A Pro Football Hall of Famer. Elected to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in the early 2000s, in 2003. And uh, I have a book, I guess. The book is Smash Mouth, My Football Journey from Trenton to Canton. No, that not not that guy. He played for the Houston Oilers, and this will go to the Titans. Justin Purnell with that, if anyone wants to keep guessing. 1968, third round pick, 77th overall. Played for the Houston Oilers from 68 to 83. Um, played in 210 games, 135 consecutive. Played a defensive end and guard in 1968 season. Didn't miss a game until breaking his arm against the Oakland Raiders in 77. Led my teams in sacks six times. Finishing career with 105 unofficial sacks. Not Bruce Matthews. Nice penmanship right here. Elvin Bathia. Remember Elvin Bathia? I think that name should ring some bells for people. I feel like... It does ring a bell for me. These Oilers helmets are pretty cool too. The Oilers logo. There you go. And that'll go to Justin, who has the Tennessee Titans. Oilers stuff goes to the Titans, of course. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another fun uh, mini helmet break in the books. This is uh, Random Team Break number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com here on January the 9th. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.